Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Destiny and I am so happy to have you here with me today. I just wanted to give you a little bit about myself and my channel before we got started with our video today. I am a stay at home mom in South Jersey right outside of Philadelphia. I am a mom of two boys, Carmelo and Xavier. They are absolutely amazing. They keep me on my toes, all that great stuff. My husband and I have been together what will be 10 years, married for two this year. And we are just a family that goes through a lot of interesting things and I love to just share my journey with you. I also wanted to add in and the most important part is that I did start my channel because of mental health issues. I suffered from postpartum depression and anxiety and that just rolled into severe depression and anxiety after a tragic loss in 2021. So I like to just kind of give you guys an idea or just motivation to stay afloat and to keep pushing. And if you guys are ever going through a dark time and you're feeling alone, you can always find me on Instagram. I would love to just listen if that's all you need right now, because sometimes that is just what we need is somebody to listen. So you'll see in almost every one of my videos my Nespresso. I swear by this coffee machine, the frother that it came with. It was a housewarming gift from my best friend and it's literally one of my favorite items that I have in my kitchen. I also use the oat milk brown sugar creamer. I love oat milk. I literally live on oat milk and that brown sugar oat milk creamer is just the perfect creamer to keep it like sweet without adding sugar so it's just it takes care of all of my favorite things and this is a typical morning for me i'm up usually around five o'clock in the morning to get ready and to have my coffee and to plan my day in peace without my kids or any other interruptions did you change your own diaper <laughs> Yay! Are you gonna start using the potty? Yeah, I got a potty. Yeah, you got a potty. Are you gonna start using it like a big boy? Like a sea wash. It's a sea wash. Huh? It's a sea wash. Yeah, but are you gonna start using the potty like a big boy? I should look out there. Okay. So I dropped the boys off at school. This was Xavier's last week in daycare. So I tried to get all of my like little tedious errands out of the way so that way we could start off our week um, home full time on a very good slate where I don't feel like I'm, you know, still in need of running errands, still in need of being, you know, behind any of the laundry, any of that stuff. Like I just wanted us to start off on a clean slate for our time home together. Okay, so I um have been finishing up a video all morning as I'm just wrapping that out. I want to, I think, upload it before I leave the house. And um, what was I guess? oh, and, and I have to go to the grocery store. So today is Wednesday yeah today's Wednesday usually I go grocery shopping on Monday um, the week didn't go as I planned if you haven't noticed that term as I planned I say more times than none but um, it didn't and then go as I planned so I just want to make sure I have dinner for the next two nights and then I will go grocery shopping no Fridays are pizza nights and then I'll probably go grocery shopping 
Saturday or I might get chili today, get stuff for chili today and make it on Saturday. Um, Sunday is the one year anniversary of my father's passing so I don't even want to think, any, I really don't want to think any further into the week, um, not to mention the weekend. So. I'm not sure where I'm gonna be at. I do know that um, we will be celebrating his life with Chipotle and um, you know talking about him and his memories, and, and I look forward to that. Uh, but I just don't want to even think about the day, and I don't want to assume that I'll be horrible or that I'll be okay. But I will get through it, like I did this past year. Um, with that being said, I'm not sure what I want to make for the week, so I'm gonna go on Pinterest get a few ideas, and then head over to the store. I don't know what store. I usually go to Aldi. Might maybe try ShopRite today. I'm not really sure what I'm in the mood for. Quite frankly, I would prefer just to go to Target, but I know I'm not gonna do that, so. <laughs> waste of words, waste of breath. Cause I've got none to say. Thoughts they burn inside my chest. Can take it one more day. No matter how much pain I'm in No matter how Gotta think I gotta breathe Changes to come Cause the light's just around the corner There's a car wash. I was gonna vacuum it all out and clean it myself but then I decided I'd rather have somebody else do it so I'm gonna go to the car wash instead. When I'm So I returned my boots at Steve Madden that my husband got me for Christmas. They were really cute, but I had to get a different size. And then they didn't have the ones that I wanted. So I ended up with like just a pair of like sneakers. But you know, like those cute Steve Madden ones that are like quilted leather. Anyway, they go with like everything. So I figured it would be a win-win. With that being said, I am on my way to my husband's job which is literally right behind where i'm at like across the street and i'm gonna pick up some stuff from him and then i'm gonna go to i really don't feel like going to aldi i think i'm gonna have to go to aldi i'm just gonna get it done and over with and just go to aldi you know and the thing is it's not aldi like it's not that i don't feel like going it's just that aldi's like like there's an acme next to my house aldi's like a few towns over and that annoys me but it's not that big of a deal plus i usually save like a decent amount of money at aldi so usually today i'm getting like really simple easy meals so shouldn't equate to much but Trying to act like I'm not feeling down, yeah But really, I really want you around, yeah I put my feelings all into these sounds, yeah, yeah. I swear I love it when I see you smile, yeah, yeah. Aldi for the win, right? So I just got here and I was gonna bring my camera in and like kind of document it But this place is back, so I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna record on my phone, show you guys what I'm gonna get Ain't nothing too deep, so don't worry about it But it's just like Aldi has like, I won't get everything from Aldi. I will admit that. And I won't get my cream cheeses, my oat milk, none of that here, but I just get some things here. Anyway, you guys get it. Fly with the stars, sound free. Party all day, every weekend. Make it boom, boom to the beat. Make it boom, 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 boom. Fly with the stars, sound free. Party all day, every week. I'm really into like switching up my menu right now so if you have any menu suggestions for your family that is like just a hit please leave that in my comment section because I'm open to pretty much anything at this point 
safe to say that we can all admit the worst part of grocery shopping is unloading the car. I don't need you, you, I don't need you. So yesterday we went out to eat to um, Chick-fil-A and for the four of us, five, so it's the four of us and we got my mom something to eat. So five of us, it came out to $50. Today I went to Aldi and I got all of this food for $20 more than that. So one meal, $50. Multiple meals for $20 more than that. Granted, this isn't multiple meals like I did my last Aldi haul with, but I have our cheesesteaks for tonight. That will still give me leftovers for lunch tomorrow and my husband's lunch as well. Um, we have the noodles for the baked ziti and then I got backup meals for the kids, some fruit and bread a few drinks so nothing too crazy but still better than fifty dollars each meal you know for a week i make my own decisions my lifelong mission releasing inhibitions i don't need And if you stayed this long, thank you so much for being here with me today. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh about the irony of everything I like the way you're thinking say to be gracious with yourself and that's what I'm going to do today um I'm mentally preparing myself for the weekend and I've been trying really hard to like you know stay strong um but my son just left to go you know out with his grandmother and I started crying and I cried for a good 30 minutes and I have to admit it feels good it feels good to cry felt good to talk about my dad it feels good to talk openly about my grieving um it feels good to be unapologetic about my grieving um, and I didn't live in that and that's a huge thing for me um, if you know if you're going through something like this then you know exactly what I mean when I say I did not live in that and it's almost to date a year later and Regardless if I lived in that emotion or not, when that wave hit me, it was, and it always will probably be, just debilitating. But that's love, and that's the way love presents itself even in death. So I'm learning to accept that. I have three baskets. I have three baskets. I'm not kidding. Three baskets of laundry I have to put away. So I'm going to get started on that. There's two of them here, one over here. And... That, I think, is going to be it for me today. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I know I'm here to motivate you and get you going. But I'm also here to be realistic with you. And realistically, I'm burnt out today. I uh, worked on a project this morning. I uploaded a video, went to return something, went grocery shopping, came home, had lunch, went out to pick up my son. Now I'm doing laundry on top of like cleaning surfaces throughout the day. It's just, I still got to cook dinner. We still got to go to the gym. But as for anything in the house, I'm done for the day.
there are some days where you can go the whole day without hearing somebody tell you thank you or you did an amazing job or thank you for doing an amazing job or thank you for anything and I just want you to know that if you're watching this video and you've gotten this far you are amazing you are doing the best that you can and that is enough we were conversing into the night sky when you took my hand said let's leave now don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our I find laundry to be a daunting task so I always watch some Netflix or HBO Max show to get through it it just helps it go quicker it helps me feel less miserable while I'm folding clothes and I just highly suggest it I will let my guard down don't wanna be shy This is just a long day at this point and I feel so burnt out and I know I'm not the only one that like midday you just feel like you did entirely too much and it feels like even more weight is weighing on you but after I was done doing everything I needed to do in forms of cleaning I was able to relax and just kind of breathe and that helped a lot. See now this is the motivation I'm talking about. Here I am laying down. What kind of motivation is this? My husband and I are trying a new thing where we're bringing the kids with us to the gym. It's not every day that we're able to do this, but it was just a good time for us to spend time as a family, but to also condition Carmelo for basketball season. And on the menu for dinner today, I had cheese steaks with peppers and onions for my husband and myself. And for the kids, I went ahead and did french fries and chicken nuggets with a fruit salad type thing on the side. And they loved it. And my husband absolutely loved the cheesesteaks that I made. So I'm going to show you guys how I went ahead and made it. He, and I quote, said it's probably one of the best cheesesteaks he's ever had. And that's saying a lot considering we live in South Jersey right outside of Philadelphia. So I was able to get the beef shaved at Aldi. It came in a pack. I think it was like $8 for the pack. This amount of steak gave me four cheese steaks and they were pretty hefty. I seasoned the cheese steak, well, the steak, well, the beef, with Lowry seasoning, paprika, and some ground pepper. I think the key to this was the pan that I sauteed the peppers and onions in. I went ahead and just threw the beef into that same pan without cleaning it off. And I think that that just helped absorb the oil that the, um, the veggies had sauteed. And uh, the next thing I went ahead and did was pour heavy cream into the meat once it was already done cooking. And then I mixed some shredded cheese and that helped build a nice creamy cheese sauce, very similar to Cheese Whiz. And that was the perfect combination um, for this cheesesteak. And that's the finished product. Well, it's the end of the day. And it was a long day, but we got a lot done today. So I hope that you were able to get some motivation out of today's video. I hope that you found some type of encouragement from anything I said <laughs> um, and thank you guys so much for being here with me I really appreciate it if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe if you like today's video give that a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time